Hello guys, this is XOOX, and we are back in the Shrouded. So, basically, we are picking up where we left off in the last episode. We finished the workbench, we stopped at the base, and now it's time to get uh, out into the world and find the Sleeping Survivor, which is also, uh, you know, more commonly known as the Blacksmith. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, um, for the moment, we do have a decent set up our equipment, so we're not going to spend too much time making any of that. What I could be worried about is not having enough space in my backpack, because we might encounter items along the way that we found useful to bring back to the base. So this brings me to the necessity of actually making um, some storage. And we are going to find that inside the workbench. So, as you can see, we need string and we need twigs. And I actually want to make two of these. So, we need 12 twigs. We need six string. String is relatively easy to get by. Twigs also, we just have to find some bushes. So, that's what we're going to do. Just really fast. Yoink, yoink. And don't worry. Uh, anything outside, like mentioned in the last episode, anything outside this round will respawn overnight. Or upon, you know, when you log in out the game. So you can just farm away. Uh, I think we have a lot of twigs now, don't we? Let's just get this. And let's just get a status. We have how many? Nine and I want twelve. So we're gonna have to get a few more. We're gonna get this. No twigs. That's eleven. Still at eleven. Maybe here. There we go. It should be twelve, right? It is. And we need to make the string ourselves, so we make one, two, three. And then we can head back to the workbench. So I really do recommend doing this because I don't know how many times I've been out and about and questing, found some items, and then being stuck in the situation where I have to figure out what items to throw away because I want to carry something else. Which is sort of stupid because pretty much all items are relevant, so... Just gonna set this guy here, and then another one next to it. There we go. So now we can offload. Basically, I'm gonna put all away. Except a few food items, actually. Keep the construction hammer here in base. Uh, in the beginning, at least. Because what happens if you do die? Um, you have to corpse run. And if you then are in a situation where you have to build something back at base, well, it's just really annoying not having that hammer. Uh, let's see. That should be fine. So now the bag is empty as convenient. We are gonna get some of this food eaten because we do get the buffs. Seven, eight, and then we're gonna see if I can have the water buffs at the same time. No, so you have to kind of make choice here what is most valuable to you. But the berry, as you can see, subsides pretty fast, so we can drink water in a moment. Oh, let's see, what was it? I forget. I'm forgetting one thing actually. We really want to make... And is that the workbench? It probably is. We really want to make the grappling hook. Because you only have to make it once. It's this. So we need 4 metal scraps, 7 strings, 10 shroud spores. Let's see how many we've got. We almost have all our metal. We have enough shroud spores. And then we need string, and string we can come by very easily, so metal, metal, metal. Let's see if we're lucky and get a few more metal up here in, in, the, uh, in the camp. Oh, animals that are dead because the skeletons killed them are basically just free fur, so grab those. And let's see if we can find something that might give us metal. Oh, we ran out of stamina because I was running. Nope. Maybe, maybe these walls. We're lucky now. Let's 
bound to be some kind of item here that will give some metal. Just need to find it. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, barrels. Could be. Maybe this one. Ah, too bad. Sometimes the big ones do have metal. Uh, little rabbits. Wow, this has more durability than a tree. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you know what? There's a camp over here. Um, which I totally forgot about. But this one has metal. A little base here with some thugs. That are relatively easy to kill. So we can just. Oh, let's see. No metal, but we got something. Um, and the reason I was so hooked up on getting this grappling hook is because we already see one here and one up there. You can kind of traverse uh, areas that are across canyons and stuff like that and avoid having to go into shroud and so it's very useful in the beginning even for the first quests let's see there should be a place where we can climb up actually uh, do we really need it here maybe i can jump up Try and see if we can cheese it a little bit. Nope. Not here. That seems dangerous. Uh, how much of that did I last time? I did find a way up, actually. Oh, yeah. Still no metal. More arrow? <clears throat> oh yeah, and you notice these these are for climbing, but they require stamina. Oops, so let's see. Let's see my stamina bar goes down when I'm using this. And the reason I'm mentioning this is it will become uh, relevant when you start using the grappling hook, which also requires stamina. Um, because if you don't have enough stamina, you're gonna fall down those climbing things. When did it go? Oh, you know what? Explosive barrels can be a big help. We've got a bit of a wolf going here. Wow. Ouch. That made a lot of damage. See, this is the place where I really... Ah. I really wanted to have the healing potion ready. And there's our loot. Okay. It's not that it's hard to kill that wolf. It's just caught me off guard. So we're gonna run to this guy. Because if we're moving, he's gonna be in trouble. Forget access. How to keep the success against this guy? Oh, hand grenades. Let's see how much uh, metal we have now, actually. I had three here and I had nine, didn't I? So basically we do have what we need, but since we're here, we might as well clear this area now. Uh, these barrels, you don't want to get close to them. Uh, you want to take them out from afar like this, because otherwise you will die. The good thing about them is that, oh, they, you know, expose the chest. 
And if they're placed in here, like near items, they will destroy the items and turn them into loot. So it can also be a very fast way of uh, collecting loot from a, a place like this. But don't feel free, uh, you know, don't don't worry about blowing them up. Don't, just don't be in the vicinity of the explosion. Oh, more metal scraps. Let's get this chest. Oh, wow, that's actually quite a lot of damage for a level, a early level weapon. So that's very useful. We are going to put that here. Wow, it looks nice. Well, that was a good catch. And these are random, so you can't uh, be sure that you're going to get the same item as me. Even if you start over, it won't be the same. So yeah, that's just something to take into consideration. We got some new lore there. Got some wooden arrows. Oh yeah, and the thing about um, cleavers like this is that unlike the axe that kind of goes sideways, this one will actually hit downwards as well. So even if items are on the ground, you can still destroy them and uh, pick them up as loot. So that's quite useful. Uh, that seems about it here. And we also have enough metal. So might as well venture back. So. That brings us to a little... Might as well use that little tip now. You don't have to walk back. You can just simply click your home or any other place with this fire icon and fast travel. Which is very useful. Let's make... Uh, is it because it's counting potential string? Well, we need to make it. So when you're in the workbench, you don't have to go out uh, to do your normal crafts. You can just click manual crafting. One, two, three. Then we have enough for one storage. No, it's not storage. Sorry. String. We need seven string. I was thinking storage still. See how much I enjoy storage. <laughs> so now we can make it. We really want to get to the glider as soon as possible as well, because that would also enable us to travel very fast. Um, but as you can see, we need shroud wood. And that is uh, only down in the shroud. I don't want to go get that right now. Uh, but after we get the blacksmith, let's do that. So now we have the grappling hood made. Again, simply right click and equip. And then it pops up here. It has its very own dedicated spot or slot. And now we can traverse those um, little areas that has this ring that can the grappling hook can grab onto. And that means we can get to the blacksmith faster. Now she got a little bit tired. Wolfie! Bones, appreciated. And of course there's a little camp here we need to, or don't need to, but should clear just to get some items. Uh, let's see. Got some fiber there. And um, in fact, you could also, you could destroy the tent and then you would get cloth. But it just takes a little time. So you could ask yourself whether it's uh, desirable to do so or not. <laughs> and actually the felling axe is better for that than the uh, flavor. So let's put this here. We don't need the pickaxe right now. Just to show you. So it collapses and then you get three torn cloth for that. So it could be useful in a pickle. And it, you know, didn't take that long actually. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine hits. I think, as far as I remember, I did have the patience once. And if I'm not mistaken, you can destroy this, but it takes some time. So in my opinion, not worth it. New lore. More arrows. Oh, we can destroy this. Ah, nothing. Barrels. Okay, that's it for that camp. Also, you will come across arrows that are stuck like this. You can just pick them up as new your own arrows and use it. So no reason not to because you're gonna spend a lot of arrows, so 
more skeleton guys. See here it makes sense to use the cleaver instead. Okay, we have... Uh, what's that? That's nothing. So the way grappling work, uh, grappling hook works is that you approach uh, an edge like this, and then the E pops up, and you just simply swoop over. And sometimes you might want to jump at the end of the swing. Depends on how you're gonna traverse the uh, the area. Here I can just basically let it go. And let's see. Oh, we want the felling axe for that. Felling axe is a lot faster for wooden structures than weapons, so... Nothing here... I oh, thought that was wood, but it wasn't. It was a box. Yep, I remember if this can be destroyed again, it's probably just decoration. So, moving on. At this point, I know just before we're gonna cross the canyon or the, um, the hole in the bridge, there is a chest down below us. Metal scraps and hand grenades. And uh, Oh, look at all this. That's definitely worth it. And here you need the, uh, the cleaver instead. Let's get over here. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Okay. So jump down, jump down. And then we get this little chest here. Healing potions are always welcome. And then we're gonna go, oh, I can't remember. Is there anything down here? Nope. We're gonna get up here because we have a grappling hook here. Now pay attention to the stamina bar. I'm going to try and grab and then I'm going to try and climb right away. Jump and then I'm going to climb and whoop, ran out of stamina. So now I have to stand here and wait. And you actually have to wait a fair amount of time. I think it's a fine mechanic, you know. It, it requires you to make considerate choices instead of just rushing around. So <clears throat> we got up. These are traps. Um, you can lure enemies into them if they're not ranged. So they don't discrimi discriminate. If you don't want trip, to trick them yourself, or trip them, you can just you know fire at them. And even when you've done this, you can reset them or activate them. But at least now I don't accidentally step into one of them. <clears throat> Whoops. So far, so good. We got a little bit of a cozy situation. Oh no, it's 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 so sensitive. Oh me, I'm pressing too much. <laughs> okay, a little bit of a rubbish pile here. We can just leave it. No, there's nothing in this one. Sometimes there is. Sometimes there's not. And then we have an enemy down here. I'm gonna try and range him. Actually, just with the wand. Oh, and these uh, these triple crossbow things are actually quite nasty in damage. So don't uh, <laughs> don't be sloppy about it, <laughs> especially if you encounter like two or three of these guys. Um, they will kill you. <laughs> Okay, so why did we make the grappling hook? Well, if we come here and look. If we didn't, we would have to go down below the bridge and go all the way through this shroud here and meet several enemies. And now we can basically just bypass it all and go up here and find the, uh, the blacksmith. He's inside an ancient vault, which is there. And we have three enemies here, I recall. So let's try and find them. Oh, look, here are um, a bees, which are very sensitive to wands. So, yeah, they don't respond well to, uh, you know, swords and things like that. Which is also why, you, even though you're a fighter, you would need something like a wand. 
for these kind of situations. Oh, we got a lot of mats here. Okay. And let's see, I can't remember where they had. There's like two guys outside. Yeah, you can use bushes to conceal yourself in hidden. Uh, but you could also just go full retard here. But he's not too bad. The thing is, they're dual wielding, so they hit with two uh, cleavers or skies at once, which makes them do a fair amount of damage. Just keep him at bay. Like this. Was it too bad? I don't think their weapons, now that we've got this cleaver, their their weapons are not really that useful, so... Okay. What is this? Grab some water. And sometimes you'll come across an anvil like this, where you can repair your items, which makes good sense. We got some more lore here. Doesn't say anything yet. There we go. Uh, a little bit of a hidden storage. Oops. Loop. And another one. Wow, a lot of items. And make sure to check upstairs as well. Okay. Nice stash. More hand grenades. Hand grenades are quite useful actually, uh, besides being able to kill some enemies relatively fast. You can also use them as kind of a demolition type um, tool. So if you have r rubble uh, in the way of your, your path, you can blow it away. Okay, let's just destroy this one. A little bit closer. There we go. And this one we cannot get up to. So, at least without kind of jumping, gliding, whatever. Let's just get inside and get the blacksmith. Uh, we, we do have one single enemy here. Don't worry, they will be harder to kill <laughs> as we progress. So it's not like it, the game is completely easy all the way. These can contain stuff, so... Do, uh, do break them. Okay. Oswald. Well, yeah, the thing is, he's not gonna appear or come out of uh, the, uh, the thingy like we did. But we do get the option now to make uh, what's called a summoning staff, and then we can summon him back in our own camp. Got a little bit more here. Yeah. And let's just destroy this. Damn. You know what? Let's just see if I haven't tried destroying this yet. But it seems like it would reward a few items. You know what? Let's blow it up. <laughs> Seven. Okay, there's some distance. Maybe not. Oh well. Ah, oh, that was a little bit. And then there's a hidden door here. With a silver chest. Ah, he's complaining, why didn't I bring my lockpicks? Well, just me. <clears throat> I mean, it looks nice, but you know, it's not better than the other one, 
okay, it's, it's not a type of damage, so that makes it useful that way. But now we can fast travel back. The question is, should we? Because we also need shroud wood. Uh, but let's let's get back first. Uh, let's see. Station vault. Fast travel. And the yeah, the flame appreciates that we got him. <clears throat> so now we need a place to put him. And we can start expanding our base a little bit here now. And kind of make... Maybe make him a little shack kind of area he can work in. Oh, we have a lot of stuff in the backpack, so we don't need... So I imagine he would appreciate stone, wouldn't he? So we need the hammer. The construction hammer is here. And we also need to make a summoning staff, but we'll do that after we place down a few items. Oh, foundations. So, stone. You don't really pick that. Should he have a little bit of an elevation? That would be nice, wouldn't it? We're gonna make it a little shop for him. Like so. And as I yeah mentioned, it costs a lot of mats, so we are going to get some more stone here. And maybe just... no, that's enough, I think. To make a few more at least. Like so. How come I cannot do this? But you can kind of overlap as well, so if you don't have enough for a full set you can kind of squish it in a little bit yeah i can't make the full size but i can make something a little bit smaller <laughs> um let's make it this size because he only has two benches so i think that would fit it but actually also now i do want to get some more stone to make walls um, um. did we put Oh, we don't have it. Nope, not here. We are gonna go here. And I really like this about the game. Kind of, you know, you can actually see how you carve into the, the stone. But you're actually shaping the area with your know, pickaxe. That's a nice touch of detail. Now, let her rest up for a moment. Make some more of these. Now, there are no rules how you need to place this, but there is one rule that all the NPCs need a roof over their head, like literally. So, whoops. Take that back. Uh, we're gonna place the two walls here. I want to make it line up the corner. Like so. And then maybe a few pillars here. Thick. And I'm not too keen on the thick ones here. So we are going to choose number two. Get that on the corner. So. And for roof, we need to make special blocks for those. These are called roof blocks. And you can use, you know, shingles, but requires tar, which we don't have. So we're just going to make plant fiber. I think that should be enough for two. Again, you have to go down here. And we're going to make four M roofs. And whatever you like for this, you just make, right? So, maybe like so. That roof? Like this? Maybe this is nicer. Get 
Okay, that's better. Good, and then we will... Oops. We will make... Those... That pillow bag again. Which was here. And basically, we can already make him now. Um, let's make the summoning staff. There we go. And with that selected, you can press tab, and then you have. If you had other NPCs, you get the choice to choose those as well. But we only have Oswald, so we're gonna place him in here. Now, if I place him out here, he's gonna complain about not having a roof, so I'm just gonna put him inside right away. Crafting the first gear. So he wants to make us new weapons. And he also wants us to you know, destroy the first um, elixir well. And that's going to be the next important point. Uh, it's uh, soon. There's something down in the shroud that's called the elixir well. And this is where you're going to encounter your first boss. So, but for now. Yeah, it's so happy that we found this guy, and now it's telling us to go find another guy. Let's see who that is. Forge your weapon, long keep. I mean, there are a few more. There's an alchemist, there's a hunter, and a farmer. So, let's just grab those one at a time. But we want to make uh, Oswald's... Benches. Is that him that makes it? Oh yeah. So this one is of course the interesting one that makes metal plates, but in order to make that we need charcoal, which we make with this one, which needs stone. So we have five stone, we need twenty. Let's go grab twenty. Or fifteen. So you could be lucky to can just go around and collect these at three. And there's another one here. Three more. Because at least that doesn't cost you stamina. I think that's almost enough now. Let's check. Backpack, 27. Craft a kiln, place it. Uh, wait, I'm gonna hide that away. Turn it so it's facing the right way. That's gonna stick out a bit. You can always pick it up, replace it. <laughs> so, is that the same place? Ah, it, it works. That's okay. And then the way this works is you kind of just, like in other games, you just fill in resources, which in this case is wood, but we are gonna split it. So we don't use it all for that. And yeah, this is where you select your recipes. So you will only see this one when you enter it, but you can see more inside if you open it. And you can see we need dirt. We need three dirt per wood. So we need a lot of dirt actually. What you can get with the PX. And you basically just, you know, start hitting ground like this. Place that inside. And it just works on its own. It takes a fair amount of time. It's using 17 logs per 15 charcoal. So right now it's going to work for 15 minutes to make three. Which is what we have enough for. Um, yeah. So just leave that. And we can do some other stuff. But yeah. I think we're going to call it for this episode. And then we can pick up in the next. Um which is going to be us getting the next 
NPC. So yeah, thanks for stopping by for this one. The next episode is already up and running. So be sure to go and catch that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.